Hello and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. In this video I'm going to be showing you different types of dampening materials you can use inside your speaker cabinets. Now basically working our way over here, this is the most popular that the speaker manufacturers use, which is a polyester wadding. Now these are all very cheap, so um, uh, that's why they use it. it. It's not the best. And then they also use foam. Some of them use foam. Some of them use polyester. So working our way around here, this is uh, different types of uh, materials that you can use. All these products are used in the upholstery trade, by the way. So working our way to this one, this is like a cotton waste. All bits of old materials all mashed up and reconstituted into a sheet form. So it's easy to staple onto the side of your cabinets. And then we move on to this, which is, I call it white cotton felt, but it's known in the trade as linter felt. And this is pure cotton. So, you know, it's all um, spun bonded or whatever you call it. I can't remember the, the name of what they call it now, but that's, uh, that's uh, white linter felt. And then these two products are what I've been using. Um, this one is a wool mix so it's uh, it's a slightly uh, softer than the uh, white cotton felt um, the air flows better through this in the back of the cabinet so if you're covering the port up um, the air will flow better through this than these two products which are more dense which you'd really use for stapling on the side of the walls and then finally we come to this which is also made of wool and uh, this is like a, a barrier lining which they use under Fabrics, the since 1988 fire regulations changed on fabrics. Um, basically, if you're using a curtain fabric for upholstery, you would basically use a barrier lining under this. And this is fire retardant as well. Um, and this is made of uh, wool as well. So uh, basically, the, the beauty of this product is you can cut discs of it out and glue it onto the back of your magnets so when the sound's bouncing around in your cabinet, it doesn't come back onto the magnet and bouncing off of hard surfaces, and it works really well. And you can also cut lengths of it and glue it onto the spider at the back of the uh, the woofer as well. So that's really good. So I'm basically using a combination of the two of these. Um, I usually staple this onto the walls and then use this on, on all the other parts that I can just glue it onto. So... Um, I shall put some uh, information about these two in the description below. So basically, uh, I'd recommend these two products. I have seen people using these. I personally wouldn't use those, um, in my opinion. I use these two on my Monitor Audio Silver Ones, and that's what I was using inside of those. I haven't put any in my new ones yet, so I shall do a video on that uh, soon. So, um, okay, thank you for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're uh, new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a, a like on this video. Okay, thanks for watching.